I think right now let's grab a couple waters to take with us and then we'll head over to cold. Uh oh. <sighs> I got a glass of milk out yesterday. I think it was actually the day before. I forgot to put the milk back in the fridge. Well, if anybody likes good chunky milk, I have some that I could ship to you and don't worry it's already spoiled so it ain't gonna get any more spoiled. Yikes! Oh and thank you guys so much for uh, all the comments on the toilet paper. My mother as you guys know she is a hoot and we both would talk back and forth text each other. Hey did you see the comment somebody said or whatever. I think right now my way up front was probably winning by a line of uh, landslide probably in my downstairs bathroom i just like sitting on the ledge so i can pick it up and actually hold it in my hand but you ever been to a bathroom where you can't hardly reach the roll it's way back here come on put it where we can see it i don't know if any of you've had this issue before this little girl here is a 2003 a little D dodge durango she's in mint condition a little dirt right now on it and stuff but very very clean vehicle but we're getting the vibration i mean when you're driving it, you hear it like this when you get about 40 45 miles per hour if it's a little windy or sooner i swore it was probably a wheel bearing going out i've been messing with it took it to one of our good friends that has a little garage you used to have these little bug screen here and stuff getting a horrible and they said hey we think it's that so we're going to pull that off because i need this vehicle today we'll drive it and hopefully that's the problem it's funny how sometimes these little things but I guess if it is this thing making the noise, a lot cheaper than a uh, real wheel bearing. One more screw, but it's got to be a Phillips. Phillips, Phillips, Phillips. Well, we'll try that and we'll see what happens. What do you guys think of the new shorts? B-R-U-N-T, Brunt. These are Brunt clothes. I've been trying them for a while. I've been kind of running around off scene with them. But if you get down on the link down below, you guys can order all kinds of different clothes through them. Discount and everything's right there. Take advantage of it. Different kinds of jeans from them and stuff. And I've been very, very happy. And I show you the main reason, some of the reasons why I kind of fell in love with their clothes. I don't know about you guys, but I like to wear my phone on my side. And I have one of them clips. Well, anyhow, pain in the butt to get off. But half the time they have the hoop way over here and I can't get the phone to slide over and then it's in my way all the time. These, they put the hoop back further, I can get it way over, out of my way. I love it. The front pocket has a zipper on it. I can put my wallet and stuff in there, safe from the dust, whatever. I've been wearing these on the farm, but then I can zip them up. The front pockets are absolutely huge. Nice big pockets in the back. Checkbook actually fits way down in there. So anyhow, I'm now starting to show the stuff because like I said, I like to wear it for a while because if something is garbage, I ain't gonna show it. But anyhow, enough Jeb. We gotta get to work. We gotta get over to Kohl's, get things ready. We actually have a grave to dig this morning. Talking 94 degrees today. I don't think the humidity is supposed to be as bad, but I do know they're talking a slight chance of rain tonight. So hopefully it stays clouded and we pick up a nice rain on that. Like everybody knows, we don't control the weather. It controls us and we're at a stage right now. And I think a lot of people are at the stage where a super nice drink would make us feel good. Speaking of drink, I want to grab a water bottle to take with me this morning and I will gab throughout the day. Oh, shoot. Oh, that one's half rotted. Oh, we got to remember to put the bucket back on the skid loader too. Hopefully we can get in here without having to move a stone. We can't sometimes lower our backhoe bucket over these stones, the arm. But we're gonna see what we got here. I think we got some room. We could fudge it back this way a little bit, I think.
had a couple stop me and kind of talk to me for a little bit. They're like, man, you sure like to uh, steal people's money. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? Well, the price of a grave, that's horrible. And I'm like, well, what do you mean on that? And they're like, you're charging a lot of money to dig a grave. And I said, how much money do you think we should be charging? They said $200. I said $200? I said, I'm not trying to be mean or nothing, but do you know how much fuel it takes us just to open and close the grave and then we got to come back and touch it up and everything? They're like, shouldn't cost that much. I got thinking about it, you know, I said, well, we got to come up with our semi and in this case, the semi the backhoe, skid loader had to come up, truck had to come up. Why do you need to bring all that stuff? And I'm, I'm not trying to be funny, I'm just trying to explain what's going on here. But I'm like, well, we need the skid loader to haul the dirt away from the grave because it, it looks so much neater, you know, getting the dirt away. And you gotta have room for the vault man and stuff to get in there. And they said, well, can't you dig the hole with the skid loader? No, <laughs> gotta use the backhoe. But, you know, I'm here to, dig a hole and then I got to come back to cover the grave well why don't you do all that in the same day and I said well I can't because what if we have a breakdown or I wait and now today I have three graves to dig you just better get out there as soon as you get the call and get it dug and you know I said then we got insurance we got to carry insurance out here at the cemetery and you know, it's just a lot of things, and I realize, you know, whenever we hear a bill, at first it sounds pretty high. But then, like I told them, too, this equipment, as we all know, they don't give nothing away anymore. Vehicles, cars, trucks, tractors, lawnmowers. So I'm hoping they kind of understood. You know, we kind of had a nice conversation. I think they kind of understood, because the guy's like, God, I guess I really didn't think about what all goes on out of the cemetery. And, you know, it's just a job you think boom it's done and and then I told him too you know I said we're out here in every different element rain snow freezing weather hot sun and then it's kind of like any job if you can't take home a little bit of money to eat off of and take the family out then why even really be out here I hate to say that but you got to make a little bit of profit or if there isn't anything left over one thing I would like to buy someday though is a bigger bucket. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Where's my camera light? That's my potato in the microwave. It's like dancing around. What I'm doing, these are the wide drops on the sprayer. Anyhow, this isn't nothing fun. It ain't hard. It's just time consuming. We took all the tips off. Now I gotta put them all back. So very, very exciting. Take each one of these, but they got little screens in here. These little blue things are screens. And maybe you can see the little tips over here that the chemical sprays out of. But now I have to go back in after we cleaned them up, put everyone back on there. Make sure the old rings and everything are in there. And then make sure they're clicked on good. So I gotta go around the whole sprayer and do this. Sometimes some of this stuff it ain't hard to do. It's just time consuming and it's always hard to want to do some of this stuff when field work is right around the corner for harvest. You kind of want to put this stuff on hold but I just don't want to forget where we put this stuff over the winter and I get everything cleaned up and I don't want it sitting on the shelf or something and get dirt in them and then have to re-clean them all up again. This is the other sprayer I suppose I'm, I'll just take everything apart now. It's this blue screen in there that I want to make sure is clean. Now like them don't look too bad. Now that one's got some crud in there. You might just let everything soak tonight, but you can see how it's loosening up the dirt. I got them sitting in hot soapy water. I am horrible, horrible, horrible at putting endings to videos because I never want to say goodbye to you guys even for 10 minutes. But this is the end of the video. And I want to give everybody a big thank you for all the fun you guys have with me. Catch you on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe if you want. 
and hit the like button. And please leave a comment. I love the comments.